Hey, this is Taylor from Nuts and Bolts Speed Chain with four minute trick number five for the Office Timeline Plus add-in. How to quickly break out a table of your graphic that you can incorporate back into your layout, which might look something like this. Now, even though this is a much better visual representation of your Gantt chart or timeline, let's say you have a boss that wants to see the information in a table format and then reincorporate it with your graphic. Well, instead of coming up to the insert tab, selecting a table, choosing how many, the size of the table you want, and then trying to manually copy and paste your dates and your time and your, your tasks all within the table, because your information again is all within the Office Timeline add-in, the add-in makes it super easy for you. All you need to do is come up to the Office Timeline tab, come to change drop down notice you have a table option here on the downward left it immediately inserts a table this is a native powerpoint table you can see the table tools design tab and layout up in my ribbon so with a little bit of speed training you can quickly knock something out for your boss like this so that's how to break out a table of your office timeline plus graphic this again is hands down the fastest way that I know of to build a timeline or Gantt chart in PowerPoint while still retaining full control of the graphic. To get the full functionality of the add-in, you do need to get the paid version, but it'll more than pay for itself in time savings with the very first graphic you build with it. Now there's a lot more you can do with the Office Timeline Plus add-in, but hopefully these first five tricks help you jumpstart your next presentation. If you want a link to the Office Timeline add-in or a cheat sheet of the steps covered here, look for the links below in the description box. If you want to see more videos like this about the Office Timeline add-in, leave me a note in the comments section below. This is Taylor from Nuts and Bolts Speed Training, and I'll see you at happy hour. Photos, a number of different sizes and shapes, and what I want to do is resize and crop them so that they're all the same size and shape and use them to build my layout. But as resizing and cropping photos can be a real pain, I don't want to do any of it manually, and I can quickly do this using SmartArt. To do that, I'll first select my pictures, holding the shift key, 